Yes, the Devil RC Boxing Show. I'm your host, Mr. A. And doing some cleaning before the fights. The four o'clock fights on the zone. Doing little stuff. I look up. I just happened to come across the, the new the rankings. Ranked at number one for the WBO Super Featherweight. King Ryan. Ryan Garcia. He is number one. Champion Masayuki Ito. So do you if you're his uh his team, his his handlers, do you push it? Do, you, do Golden Boy, do you push that fight? You know, Ito fights a lot on um I think he's teamed up or co promoted by top rank. He gets you know his last couple of fights have been on ESPN plus. You know, I think it's a good fight. <laughs> like I said, right here on the Double RT Boxing Show, you know we talk champions, we talk the rankings, we talk belts. And Ryan Garcia, he has the two belts. He did what he had to do. You know, people shit on the little trinklet belts. Ryan Garcia went and got two of them. Now he's ranked number one for the WBO. He has the um, NABF and the NABO um, Super Featherweight titles. Those are... Um, Sisters, brothers, cousins, whatever you want to call them. I guess sister belts. The NABO is a WBA, WBO belt. That's why he's number one in that. And the NABF is the WBC sister belt. Well, he's not He's not even, uh, according to boxing scene, he's not even in the top 15 of that. But he has those sister trinket belt. So maybe they're they're not as heavy as pushing him against Michelle, Miguel Burchette. But if Golden Boy wants to take this shot at Ito... They match up well. They're both 5'10", uh, a 70-inch reach. It's it's a, I believe it's like a half an inch difference on the reach, and I think it favors uh, Garcia. So it's a real, real, you know, footwork, footwork-wise, you might have to give it to, I think Garcia probably has the quicker of the feet and the legs as of, Using the ring generalship, sticking and moving, sticking and moving. Uh, Ito might be punch for punch power hitter combination um, delivery. Probably Garcia. Like it's a really, I think it's a really good fight. A five eight and a half is his height, and I think Garcia is five ten. So. Okay. Garcia might be even bigger. Yeah, I think Garcia is uh, bigger. So you got F- Garcia is going to be the taller man at by two inches, five ten to five eight. If if I'm Golden Boy, I press this fight quick. And I try and because if you don't go for Ito number and that number two is Lamont Roach, he'd get that shot. And some of the two I don't know the WBO. Like number three, I don't know Jeremiah uh, Nakatatia. I think that's that. I think that's that South African guy. I think I'm not too sure. Jason Sosa at number six, Scott Quick at number seven, Lee Shelby at number eight, um, Andy Vint Andy Vincents. I think that's how you pronounce it. I've seen him a few times on ESPN Golden Boy cards at number thirteen. So. All those names are going to be gunning for Ryan Garcia. So, if you have a platform such as the Zone, you might as well go for that title shot. Bring them on. It'll help the Zone get people to one, two fight contracts. I guess as a business move, bring Ryan Garcia because you know if he gets a belt, everyone's going to want to challenge him. Like oh, I could beat that young shit. I could beat that young shit. Ryan Garcia at 130 is going to be a target on his back. You figure you got Tevin Farmer, Javante Davis, Alberto Machado as the um, regular, Miguel Burchette. All those fights are great fights for Ryan Garcia. The only ones I really don't see them planning, but in interviews, Ryan Garcia already publicly said that uh, Golden Boy basically, in a, in a nice way, Golden Boy's told him pump the brakes on the tank talk. But um, he still wants to fight Tank. But Tevin Farmer, 
I ain't hearing shit from the Garcia camp about Tevin Farmer. I think that's the one fight they will stay away from. Urshet, Mexican LA, that's a good for Golden Boy. Uh, Alberto Machado is a nice Mexican LA fight. Texas fight somewhere with a good fan base. Like I said, what do you think? Like I said, this all comes if Ryan Garcia gets this Edo. Like I said, he's number one. He's number one. He's ranked number one by the WBO. Edo. I think that's a great matchup. I say get it done. Get it done now. Get be, become one of those champions and learn on the job. Cause at number one, he ain't got much time to put this title shot to the side let me know what you think i am the host of the double rt boxing show your show this is a mr ace thoughts season three fourth edition i'm about to go watch some fights see you on the post fight recap